Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back for a tutorial for the look on my face right now. I chose a vampy lip because I have not done a vampy lip in a very long time and I definitely missed having one on. Not to mention I have purchased recently a lot of the more vampier shades that I have not used yet. This one in particular is the Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Goth Topic. I figured since it pretty much exactly matches my shirt it would go well with the look as a whole. But I wanted to do an everyday appropriate smoky eye with a dark winged liner with a bold lip because I haven't done something like this in a very long time and I missed it like I said. Today's topic is obviously about the Kat Von D drama, the Twitter drama with Revolution Cosmetics. This of course, like any of my tutorials, is all based on my opinion of the situation itself and you are free to interpret what I share with you guys however you would like to. This is all up for you guys to decide how you feel about it and you are more than welcome to voice your opinions down below like I always say in any of these videos. I have no problems with Kat Von D Cosmetics. As a matter of fact, I just placed an order for her Alchemist palette, which was finally back in stock. I just think the way she reacted was very, very unprofessional. And of course, like I usually always want to do, because I have a big ass fucking mouth, I just wanted to give you guys my two cents on the situation itself. And this was requested by one of my viewers. So, with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the topic. Like I said, leave your comments and opinions down below. Let's have a conversation, a nice adult conversation. And I will see you guys next video. Enjoy! Alrighty guys, so we're back, like I said earlier, with another tutorial. One that a couple of you guys have actually asked me to do. So I did my research, I've got my notes, and I'm ready to fucking spill the tea, girl. Which I'm probably like extraordinarily late spilling this tea, but it's okay, I want to put my two cents in anyways. I'm just priming my face using my Clinique primer, you guys know all about that shit and how much I love it. So with any of these tutorials, you guys know I usually only do the topics that you guys want me to talk about. So if ever there is a topic that you'd like me to discuss in one these videos just leave those requests down below because I will always take them into consideration. I also want to warn you guys that I may look a little weird as far as shading because I'm not exactly sure where I am as far as shades for foundation because I did get a little bit darker so I have like five six different shades on my table in front of me so I'm gonna experiment with a few of these and hope for the best. <laughs> Alright, so now is the guessing game as to which foundation shades I should use for today's video. You guys know I usually use one of the Matte and Poreless formulas and one of the Dewy and Smooth formulas just because I feel like it gives me the best look. So I definitely need to figure out which two I want to use. So I think I'm going to go with the Dewy and Smooth formula in the shade 115 Ivory and the Matte and Poreless formula in the shade 122 Creamy Beige. I don't know, say a prayer for me guys because this might look a little fucked up. So I guess I won't be using 122 Creamy Beige because that's completely empty. Cool. Alright, so now for the reason we are all obviously here, let's talk about the Kat Von D drama that just released on Twitter. So I haven't watched any of the videos that people have uploaded because I wanted to research this on my own and gather my own opinions and my own thoughts on what's been happening. So in case you didn't know, Kat Von D went hoard as fuck on Twitter because Makeup Revolution Cosmetics released this palette, and I'll put a picture now that almost duplicated exactly her shade and light palette, and she was not happy. So of course, like most people seem to do these days, she took to Twitter and basically tore apart Makeup Revolution for doing what they did. All right, so Makeup Revolution, let's talk about them first, because they're obviously the star on this whole thing. Makeup Revolution is a UK brand, I'm guessing. The only places I've ever seen Makeup Revolution was online and in Ulta stores. Before I went any further with this research, I wanted to make sure that I got information about Makeup Revolution, so I went to their website, and from what I see, their prices are relatively cheap, at least when you compare them to Kat Von D's prices. Their larger palettes start from like $10 and go to $15 at most. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure the most expensive product I've seen on their website was $15. Now obviously, while I was doing my research, I went to the Makeup Revolution website to try to find the palette there, and I could not find it on there. The only place I found the palette was on Ulta's website. On Ulta's website, it says exclusively at Ulta, so I'm not sure if it's Ulta online or Ulta in store or Ulta as a whole. I of course will leave a link to everything down below. As far as the price tag, obviously Makeup Revolution is a lot cheaper at $15 compared to the $48 that Kat Von D charges for her shade and light palette, but let's keep in mind you pay for what you get as far as quality. Now let's look at the layout of the palettes themselves and where they place the shade. So looking at these two palettes side by side, my eyes see the shade and light palette being a little bit 
bit more on the cooler tone side, whereas the Revolution Cosmetics one is definitely a lot on the warmer side of the tone spectrum. Another big difference I'm noticing is that the black in the Kat Von D shade and light palette is a lot more darker than the one in the Revolution Cosmetics one, which honestly may not be a big deal, but those are the two big differences I see between both palettes. The reason I'm talking about that is because a lot of people were saying that it is literally an exact dupe to her palette, but there are a lot of differences in the shades. There are a lot warmer tones in the Revolution one, cooler tones in the shade of light palette, and that black does not look black at all. Do the two palettes look similar to some aspects? Yes, they do, and they did use some similar shades, but honestly, I just they seem so different to me, and as far as the layout goes, yes, that looks similar, and of course the name is very, very close to the shade and light palette, but other than that, they don't really look exactly the same, so I don't know why she's freaking out, quite frankly. Now, as for the name itself, yes, they are very, very similar. Kat Von D's is, of course, the Shade and Light palette, whereas Makeup Revolutions is the Light and Shade palette. Obviously, the names are very, very similar. However, Makeup Revolution is not the first company to create dupes of a palette from higher-end brands, and they're most definitely not going to be the last. As we all know, when Urban Decay released the Naked line of palettes, every makeup brand across the board started releasing things similar to these. When you bring up the Naked palette dupes, Maybelline did it the best when they came out with literally the Nudes palettes. The very first one is pretty spot on to the Naked palette, the first Naked palette. And then the best dupe for the Naked 3 palette was of course the Maybelline the Blushed Nudes palette that everyone went nuts for when it released. So as you can see, this is not the first time a lower end brand has made a dupe for higher end brands. It's something that happens all the time. And as a matter of fact, if we're going to talk about dupes, Makeup Revolution did almost the exact same thing when Too Faced released their chocolate bar palette. I'll put the comparison pictures up now. Supposedly, Makeup Revolution is known for its dupes of the higher-end products, so this is not a surprise to anyone that they came out with something like this. Literally, the only difference I see between the past releases of dupes and this release is how much more ballsy they were, because they did not only the exact shades, almost. They even used a similar name using the same words. Now on to Kat's reaction, because I feel like that's where a lot of people get pissed off. The way she reacted to it is honestly up to you to decide whether or not you feel good about it or bad about it. It's all up to your own interpretation, but I'll give you my interpretation right now. Now, as I stated previously, Makeup Revolution is not the first brand to create a dupe for higher-end products, and they most certainly will not be the last. So Kat is not the only business owner who has had a product of hers duped. However, she is the first one, as far as I've seen, who has directly called out the other brand for doing what they were doing. Which, as you guys know, as someone who likes to call people out for doing shitty things, I can appreciate her doing that and being direct and honest about it and how she feels. However, I'm only going to give her one small clap because really, it really was not necessary. I am all for calling out people for doing shitty and shady things, but I only do that when those people actually deserve it. So in this case, in my opinion, cat girl, you done fucked up. I'm gonna go ahead and just play the devil's advocate here, because on one hand, I can understand why she feels the way she does. She is the founder and creator of one of the most unique and most successful brands in the makeup industry to date. So with that being said, you are going to have imitators. You're gonna have people who like your style, who wanna try to recreate it. You are a trendsetter. You are the epitome of a trendsetter. There are two cliches that I think apply beautifully to the situation. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Often imitated but never duplicated. You just looked really, really butthurt about nothing. I don't know, to me it just made you look really, really dumb going after them the way you did because what you said was very, very inappropriate. And as a professional, I would think that you would deal with these kind of things much more professionally, but you didn't. Like I mentioned earlier, Too Faced had a couple of palettes duped by Makeup Revolution, but did you hear anything from Too Faced? Did you see anything from Too Faced? No. 
So I'm gonna call out my brows right now, especially this left one. I don't know why I have such a big cowlick there or why the hair is so sparse there, but every time I try to fill it in, it looks ridiculous. And I know it looks bad right now, but I feel like if we do anything else to it, it'll look even worse. If you are someone with the same problem as far as brow sparsity, leave what you do down below to kind of combat the awkwardness of the look. We didn't hear anything from Too Faced, we didn't see anything from Too Faced, because I'm sorry, Too Faced as a whole is a lot more professional. We don't see the owner of Too Faced taking to Twitter to battle smaller brands. You're gonna have imitators, you're gonna have people who wanna do what you do as well. Am I saying that it's right? No, but it's an inevitability. It's going to happen when you're somebody who starts trends. Your makeup brand is very unique, and obviously, like I said earlier, you are the most successful brand, or at least one of the most successful brands, in the makeup industry to date, and also one of the most unique. Before anybody starts a brand, I feel like these people should honestly take a class on how to deal with things like this and learn not to be so quick to deal with things like this in a negative way. And let's be honest, Twitter is not the way to handle things like this. Because as we've seen with many of these drama situations, Twitter is usually always involved and it blows up to this huge thing and more drama comes from it. If you're that mad at Makeup Revolution for doing what they did with their palette, take a note from the queen of unnecessarily petty reactions, Taylor Swift. I'm sure we've all heard about her copywriting a line from one of her songs. I'm pretty sure it was Shake It Off or some shit like that. She copyrighted a lyric out of the song so that no other artists could use it in their songs or anywhere else without her being paid. Like, come on now, that's fucking ridiculous. And I'm very, very certain she was not the first fucking person to say what she did in that song, but you know what? She was the first to copyright it, so if you're that mad, like I said, just copyright your fucking brand and everything you do. Copyright each palette, copyright the layouts, copyright the names then maybe brands won't be so quick to fucking duplicate your shit. But at the same time, you're gonna have one hell of a hard time trying to copyright anything because you're not the first to do what you did. Because you're not the first company to lay out your palettes the way you have them laid out. You're not the first company to use the same shades you've been using in your palettes. I'm very certain that every single brand across the board has a shade very, very similar to what you have in your collection. She's mad as fuck at this company for doing something that literally everybody has already done in the cosmetic industry at one point or another. If you're that mad about something like that, don't take to Twitter and say stupid shit like what you did and add these petty ass hashtags trying to be mean as fuck. Why would you pay attention to these smaller brands? Like I said, if you're that mad about it, how about you do something professional? Write the brand a personal email or a personal letter. Like, hey, my name is Kat Von D, I own Kat Von D Cosmetics, I noticed you have a palette that you released that kind of uses the same name as my palette, that has the kind of the same shades as my palette, that has the same layout as my palette. I don't like that very much, so can we do something to try to fix that? But I feel like a letter, a personalized letter, or me personally reaching out to the brand themselves would be the best way to go about it instead of attacking them on Twitter with mean-ass hashtags. And you know what? If she wants to be petty as fuck over this palette being released by Revolution, then I think that Sugar Pill should clock her ass and go after her ass for releasing the Pastel Goth palette. Sugar Pill has a lot of palettes that look similar to what she has released, with shades that almost look exactly like what they have in their collection. It seems ridiculous, right? Okay, it's because it is. And that's exactly my point with this Revolution Cosmetics palette. Dupes are going to happen. I think the main reason everyone's mad is because of the way she reacted and because of what she had said on Twitter. Because what she said was very, very unprofessional. What she said and what she did was not professional in the slightest. Going back to Maybelline and Urban Decay, there is a reason why Urban Decay did not even... Going back to the Maybelline and Urban Decay situation, there is a reason why Urban Decay paid no mind to Maybelline when they released this busted-ass nudes palette collection. And I say busted because, honestly, these are complete shit. I've mentioned this before in my videos and I'm gonna do a video dedicated to this line because I really have very strong negative opinions about this collection of palettes because they really are not that good at all. However, I will give them an A for effort because they tried, they got the colors pretty close, but the formulation is complete garbage. 
And that brings me to my point of this whole thing. Urban Decay didn't acknowledge them because they know they're much better in formulation. There's a reason they charge more for their products. All of these naked palettes cost $54. There is a reason you pay more for these than you do for the Maybelline ones because they're better in quality. You can expect the best as far as pigmentation, formulation, long wear. Compared to the, what, $10, $9 price tag of these, these that don't have any pigmentation whatsoever, when you know you're amazing, you don't need to tell people you're amazing because you you already know that they know that you're amazing. You know what I mean? You know you're gonna have imitators, you know you're gonna have people who try to copy what you do, but you ignore them. For my final opinion, I'm gonna say that I side with Revolution because quite frankly, what she said was very, very stupid. What she did was very, very petty. And honestly, it was very, very unprofessional. And a lot of people feel the exact same way. There is no reason for anybody to go on Twitter and attack someone for doing something that literally everybody has done. Her her palette is not original in any way, shape, or form, let's be honest. There are a lot of companies who have palettes that have both contour shades and eyeshadow shades. So your palettes were not the first to do anything, if we're being honest. The only thing I will give her for being mad about is obviously the name, because the name is very, very similar. I get that part. But everything else, there's literally no reason for you to be as mad as you are about it. Now before anyone thinks I have a beef with Kat Von D Cosmetics, I really don't. I find that her products are second to none in quality. I love all of her products. I just actually ordered the Alchemist palette because I'm so excited to do a video for you guys, which is kind of funny because the video I'm doing is actually a dupe video with BH Cosmetics, so that's coming next week. But I just, I don't understand why she would react the way she did. I think her reaction was the main part that made a lot of people angry, which I completely understand. In closing, like I said earlier, if I were Revolution Cosmetics, I would just let her look crazy on her own and just keep doing you, girl, because you know what? Obviously, if you pissed her off that much over something that was so stupid, you're doing something right. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to get on out of here and edit this video and get it up for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, if there is ever a topic that you would like me to discuss in a future tutorial leave those all down below and I will see you guys in my next video I love you guys so so much bye